It only takes a cup of coffee to feel the hometown hospitality of a community. In this week's Small Towns, we travel to Hillsboro, where a local business brings light, warmth, and a sweet aroma. Ann Hook has the story. Welcome to Hillsboro, North Dakota. While driving down the town's main Caledonia Avenue, you will find history and hospitality. On the outskirts of town in an old potato warehouse, you will be welcomed to a business where family and heart are at its wick. Everywhere I go around town, I'm known as the candle man. Aaron McWilliams is the CEO of Spiral Light Candles. He said it was sheer luck and a $40 Hobby Lobby kit that made Aaron a jack of the candle trade. After making a huge mess on my wife's counter, um, we made a prototype that mostly burned in the center. An innovative product that has patent pending status, Aaron's brand of candle burns around the parameters as a spiral and creates a new candle around a standing wooden wick. We couldn't find anywhere in the world that anybody else had ever made a candle that burned in a circle. Within a year's time, Aaron and his wife Sarah moved the business from their garage to their current factory where the company is capable of producing over a million dollars of product in the building alone. Six full-time employees work to make these candles, but fun and games don't halt productivity. It makes it go a lot better when you have a good crew where you can laugh and joke and we got pet names for each one of us and it's pretty fun. Every time we grow the business a little bit and we offer new job opportunities, we see a real impact in our, in our everyday lives, in our small community. A company built from the ground up by family, Aaron and Sarah demonstrate marriage and business can coexist in harmony. It's been an adventure. Um, I don't think a lot of couples really work as closely as Aaron and I have over the last few years. Even though the shop comes equipped with scents, even the candleman's family is a little sensitive to smell. It's, it's kind of a running joke. I, if I burn a candle at home for pleasure, it's probably going to be beeswax. Like straight beeswax, no fragrance. An idea that expanded into a nationally produced company, Aaron's innovative business shows how a spark lit by a single match can grow to a flame. Reporting for small towns in Hillsboro, North Dakota, I'm Ann Hook. Originally from central Louisiana, Aaron's favorite scented candle, he says, is peach nectar. Ironically, his mother-in-law, who owns a quarter of the business, is allergic to fragrances. <laughs> but nevertheless, very cool product. Very what a great idea. Beautiful candles. <laughs>